Benjamin Franklin was one of the most successful men ever born. Having a schedule can give you an insane productivity boost, so watch until the end to see how one of the most successful men in the world structured his day. Benjamin Franklin, one of the founding fathers of America. How did he structure his day? Well, firstly, Benjamin Franklin's schedule is his schedule. You don't actually need to copy his completely to become the next Benjamin Franklin. You can change it up and be inspired by it. Franklin definitely lived up to his early to bed and early to rise makes a man healthy, wealthy and wise principle. But you actually don't need to wake up early to be successful. A lot of successful people wake up at different times, 8am and even 10am. We all have different bodies that want to wake up at different times. So figure out when it's the best time for you to wake up. Franklin's schedule was simple and open to new ideas, and I loved that. Of course he didn't stick to the schedule every day, he was actually bad at it. In his autobiography he said he never arrived at the perfection he had been so ambitious of obtaining, but fell far short of it. However, he wrote that in his attempts to make him a better and happier man that he could otherwise have been. He only had six blocks of scheduled time each day. Firstly, he would wake up at 5 a.m. And his first agenda on his list is asking himself this morning question. What good shall I do this day? He sets himself an intention. And setting an intention gives you a direction for the day. So when you later on in the day get distracted by social media or wasting your time looking at memes on Reddit, you'll know what your intentions are for the day. After he set himself an intention, he would rise, wash and address powerful goodness, which was his term for God, so that bit means praying. After that he would contrive day's business and take the resolution of the day. It means he would plan out his day and how to carry out that good he dedicated himself to earlier that morning. Making a daily plan is a great habit to develop because as we talked about earlier, setting an intention gives you a direction. And actually making a plan makes it more straight lined so you know directly what you're going to be doing that day. It also allows you to take those big projects and break them into small to-dos for the day. I myself do this every day and I think you should too. You can easily do this in Evernote, in a notebook or just somewhere where you can write. It's as easy as that. The next thing he does in his morning routine is prosecute the present study and breakfast. Now this is some old fancy English, but this means he practiced the thing he's currently studying or learning at the time. One can safely say he lived up to being a lifelong learner. I really enjoy picking up a book in the morning to read while eating my breakfast. This is my way trying to live up to being a lifelong learner. Now we move on to his work blocks. He would work for 4 hours from 8am to 11am. First of all I want to say he hasn't marked out any time to breaks. How I would restructure this is to have my big projects break into small tasks that I can complete in just 25 minutes. And then take a short 5 minute break. Just to stand up, maybe walk around a little and take some fresh air in. This technique is called the Pomodoro technique. Work for 25 minutes, then a 5 minute break. It helps you boost your productivity and focus. Next he would do a little bit of light reading and then go into 4 more work blocks. From 6pm to 9pm he would put things into their places, which is basically cleaning his workspace and resetting it so there won't be any distractions for tomorrow. So you don't actually need to use your willpower to cleaning it the next day. He would also supper, music, diversion or conversation, then examination of the day. Here he would hang out with friends, as we would say it, and or relax. He knew it is very important to take breaks and take time to relax. Now we move on to the end of his day, where he would ask himself this question. What good have I done today? With this question, you'll know what good and bad you have done, so you know what to improve on the next day. And then he would sleep for 7 hours, but just because he would sleep for 7 hours doesn't mean you have to. We all have different bodies, so figure out when is the best time for you. 
I'll also leave a link in the description where you can calculate when you should go to sleep if you want to wake up a specific time. So to end up this video, I wanted to say just because some dude 200 years ago lived his day like this doesn't mean you have to. You can easily take inspiration out from it and structure your own daily routine. I will be releasing a new video soon on how to develop the best habits for your life so you can combine successful people's habits with your own. That's why you should subscribe right now and turn the bell on so you know right when the video releases. Also, don't forget to like the video, comment how you will be using this information in your own life and socialize with other people in the comments.